one of my core ones as well, which is I don't, there's no rejection for me also because the category has just kind of been replaced for me. It's either, you know, things are going to go well, I'm going to have a great interaction, have fun, get laid, make a friend, make a girlfriend, whatever, or other category, funny story. Okay, and that's been my mindset for two years now. Funny story. The worst things that have ever happened to me, the worst things, they've always been funny ass stories. Okay? Uh, and I've, I've shared this before on the internet, so I won't go into it. But it's a great mindset as well. There's no rejection because it's either going to go great or it's going to be hilarious. That's it. Some girl attacks you, tries to kick you in the balls, you know, freaks out. That's fucking hilarious. I'll be telling that to my friends. This chick tried to kill me. It was awesome. Okay? It's funny. I don't care. I'll be telling the next girl I have a date with all that. All right. Chink. Right. So I wanted to really emphasize this point. Okay? Generally speaking in life, see, guys are afraid to get what they want. They're like, well, what if I try and I fail? Guys are afraid of failure, but it's ridiculous because in reality, you're only competing with 3% of guys. 3%. Okay? In every field, most, I pretty much realized that in most fields, in everything, every job you can imagine, most people suck. Have you noticed that? Most people suck. Most doctors suck. Most dentists suck. Most lawyers suck. Okay? Most PUAs suck. Okay? Most people just suck, or, or they're just mediocre. Okay? Very few people are actually good at what they do. Okay? Very few people actually try to become in that top echelon. Okay? Uh, there's a story, there's this uh, one speaker, his name eludes me, but I love the guy. I just haven't listened to his stuff in years. He gives a specific example uh, that uh, many years ago there was a, a chain called Macy's in the States, and they basically had this thing where they, uh, they were going to have a program to train people in their company to become managers. So if you're working for like seven bucks an hour or whatever, you could become a manager and then get a much higher paid job and you can manage your own store and all this kind of stuff. And they put out this program uh, to their own employees saying, okay, look, you can come in twice a week, we'll train you for free, maybe six hours a week, and then you go through the training, you get more money, become a manager, maybe even own a store one day. Okay, awesome. Okay, guess what percent of people in the entire chain actually applied, just applied to be trained for free to get better jobs and more money? 3%. 3%. Okay? So if you're actually in that 3%, you're like, yep, I'm going to be a boss, I'm going to be awesome, I'm going to improve myself. 97% of people aren't even competing against you. Okay? So it's not that hard to get good and succeed because most people are lazy. Okay? So again, by being here, I believe you're already in the 3%, so keep that in mind. All right. Now. Why direct? So, like many of you in this room probably, uh, in my early years, I tried doing kind of like indirect stuff and just kind of trying to talk to girls without being clear about my intentions and what I was doing. And I suffered horribly. I suffered horribly. And today, I'm going to talk quite a bit about this. Okay? Now, I direct. Here's a word you're going to see a lot from me. More authentic. Okay. You're a man. Nine times out of ten, when you see a girl that you want to talk to, why do you want to talk to her? She's hot. She's sexy. There's something about her. Nice smile, nice tits, nice ass, whatever. She's fucking hot. You want to talk to her. This is the most natural thing in the world. Okay? Jesus gave us penises and them vaginas. Okay? <laughs> That's the way it's meant to be. Would have been funnier two weeks ago when I looked like Jesus, but not anymore. So... So it's just the most natural thing in the world. That's what you're supposed to do, okay? All the, all the guys I've met that are truly amazing with women, that are, you know, naturals, they're not coming up with any excuses to talk to women whatsoever. They're talking to girls, they're saying whatever's on their mind. If they think a girl's sexy, they'll tell her she's sexy, they'll grab girls. They don't care. They're not afraid of anything, okay? And it is absolutely authentic and natural to just express that desire and to tell a girl, hey, you know what, I want to talk to you. I want to get to know you. You're cute, you're sexy, whatever, who are you? Okay? Showing that authentic, natural uh, interest in a woman is normal. Okay? And it's very strange to, to on purpose try and not show that you like a girl, to try and, you know, to on purpose hide your intention. It's weird, you know? If I want something from you, if I want you to pass me a fucking can of Coke, I'll be like, yo, pass me the Coke. I'm not going to be like, so, uh, listen, I, I was wondering, uh, that can of Coke doesn't really look might fall over where it is. Can you just maybe pass that over here and we'll, and then later be like, actually, I wanted to drink the Coke and that's why I had you. No, I'm just gonna fucking, just pass me the fucking Coke, dude. You know, like, you're, you're, most of you guys are already naturally mean. 
direct. But then when it comes to women, we're all fucking pussies, okay? Doesn't make sense. Way more natural, way more authentic. Next point. Saves time and psychological energy. Who here has ever spoke to a girl for half an hour, and then you find out, oh, whoops, she's got a boyfriend, okay? I want to kill myself every time that happens. I literally want to jump off. I'm like, why the fuck was I talking to you? I want to have sex with you, and you've got a boyfriend, or you're fucking, you're not interested. What the fuck is this, okay? I hate it. I want, I've actually wanted to punch girls in the face because I'm clearly flirting with them for like half an hour. They're like, yeah, ha, ha. oh, I'm married. Why would you be here for half an hour? What are you doing, okay? Uh, guess I shouldn't open with the Starbucks opener. All right, so saves time, okay? Time is our most precious commodity, okay? We are, I know a lot of you guys are young guys. We're all going to fucking die, okay? We're all dead. As soon as you're born, it's a fucking death sentence, okay? There's only one thing more valuable than everything, than your sex drive, than money, everything. It's time. Once your time is gone, it's gone. That's it. You have X amount of days on this planet. Hopefully, there's a lot of them. You never know. Could be a year. Nobody fucking knows. Some people believe the world is coming to an end. So your time is your most important thing, right? So I hate wasting my time. And, you know, like I'm 33 now. I'm getting older and older. I don't want to waste any time, okay? Every minute I want to be doing something. I want to be having a good time. You know, I want to be either working or being productive or, or enjoying myself. I don't want to just waste fucking time. Nothing angers me more than wasting my time with girls. If a girl's not interested, cool. Just tell me you're not interested, okay? 